Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be working on the Lancer behind me here. So, I've already made one video introducing the project. Go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. It's the first video in the series, kind of explaining the Lancer, how I got it, what's wrong with it, what we're doing to it, that kind of thing. In this video, we're going to go ahead and fix, or hopefully fix the issue with the check engine light and the code that it's throwing. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop into it, grab my code reader, and kind of go through a, a diagnostic kind of thing and figure out why it's throwing a check engine light. We have to fix that in order to get the vehicle inspected and for it to pass inspection. So there can be no check engine light. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Okay, so you can see here on the dash, we got a check engine light. And we also got a TPS sensor light, which we'll deal with later. It also says service required, and I got a feeling that it has to do with the check engine light. So, and like I said, in order for it to pass inspection, there can be no lights on the dash, other than, you know, your standard seatbelt light, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I got my uh, code reader here. So we're gonna go ahead, plug her in, and see if there's any codes, what the code is, and see if we can kind of run some diagnostics on it. Okay, so here we are. We're just gonna find Mitsubishi. There it is. Uh, I guess we're gonna go, we're in America. Well, we're in Canada, but we'll say America. Um, I guess this is not an evolution. I think this is this one here. Uh, automatic. Okay, so we're into the system now, so we're just going to click here. And we're going to go and go read diagnostic trouble codes. And there's our code P0037, oxygen sensor, heater, rear, low. Um, so I did go ahead and look up this code, and it says that generally it is an O2 sensor problem. So we're going to, but before we change that, we're going to go ahead and see if I can't. Um, do some troubleshooting and make sure that that is the problem before we go ahead and order the code. So we're going to go into here and we're going to look for our O2 sensor voltages and we're going to select them and see what they read. Okay, so here we're going to select the oxygen sensor front and rear. Okay, and as you can see, the car is running. The front sensor is reading a voltage, the rear one is not. So that's a very good indication that, well, it is an indication that the rear sensor is not working, and that's going to be what's throwing our code. So uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the rear sensor. Okay, so there's the O2 sensor we have to replace. That's the rear one. It's right in the cat. If you come up a little further right there, that's the front one. So for me, it was reading bad voltage at the rear one, so that's the sensor right there that we're going to replace. Pretty straightforward, actually pretty easy to get to. So here's our new O2 sensor. We ordered it from rockauto.com or .ca. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome service and prices. Like when I went down to my local auto parts store, uh, and got a price. This one here from Rock Auto was like a third if not a quarter of the price so huge shout out to them. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed. Okay guys, so we finished uh, installing the O2 sensor, and as you can see, we now have voltage at both the front and the rear one. 
which is good. So that's all fixed and the uh, uh, check engine light is gone. We still got, well that's just the uh, e-brake light, so if I take the e-brake off it'll go off. Uh, that's the seatbelt light, so that's not an issue. This is the TPS sensor light for tire pressure sensors. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm pretty sure it's just these rims don't have tire pressure sensors in them, which is why that light is on, which is why it's throwing this service required uh, indicator. So we're gonna have to figure out that, but at least the check engine light was gone, or is gone, which is my biggest concern. So that worked, changing the O2 sensor worked. Like you see, now we're reading both voltage, uh, voltage at both of them. Okay guys, so this is the old O2 sensor that came out of the car. As you can see, there's some chop work done to it. Um, it wasn't even electrical taped or anything like that really, so I can, I'm not surprised why it wasn't working. So that's the old one, and uh, yeah, the new one's perfect. Okay guys, so we're all done now. Got the new O2 sensor installed, it works good. It's reading voltage now, check engine light's gone, so that was a big success, one thing checked off the list. Next thing will be the body of it, um, fixing up the front bumper a little bit, the hood, the fender, getting it all painted. Um, that's the next thing, so we're just working on where to get paint, stuff like that. Um, and after that, it's going to be pretty fast going, just inspecting, and inspection, and that'll be it. Pretty much. Uh, and then we can start doing some mods on it. So, um, I apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've just been so busy. It's summer now, so I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can, get out boating. Um, I was up boating for a week in northern Alberta, and then into BC I was boating for a week and stuff like that. So I've just been trying to enjoy it, and uh, I haven't been really doing much videos lately. So uh, after, there'll be another video coming out. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me there. My Sunfire. Uh, there'll be another video coming out on that pretty shortly. And then, yeah. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Like, like the video, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next video.